Hello. I want to talk a little bit this morning about um, speaking about radical feminist or gender critical topics online um, and how anyone could and should do it. And the more the the more of us there are, the better. The more platforms that we occupy with our ideas, the better. The more of us making content that uh, other women and girls can access, the better. Um, whether that be on Twitter or Tumblr or here on YouTube or on TikTok, um, I really encourage women to say what it is they think. Um, not only do you get that platform then to express your own thoughts, but you expose those thoughts to women and girls who might not otherwise have the opportunity to hear them. What bothers me a lot is uh, when I encourage women and girls to do so, the feedback I get is, oh, I, I couldn't possibly because the risk is just too big and I can't, I can't risk the, the criticism or the ostracization or the consequences. And it's like, so why, like, but it's okay for me to risk the criticism, consequences, and ostracization okay for thee but not for me like what um <clears throat> it like <laughs> especially when they say something like you should make the video about whatever well no i mean if it's an idea that i consider important uh, or that I want to speak on, I would happily take those suggestions. I really would. And I have made many videos based on things women have suggested to me. But when you have a topic that you feel very strongly about, you make the content. Make the video. Make the Twitter account. Make the Tumblr account. Whatever it may be. Um, the more voices we have in this movement the better for everyone. And you don't have to put your first and last name on your YouTube channel or your Twitter account. Um, my YouTube channel is anonymous, right? Like, I act in the real world uh, regarding my political ideas, but I don't associate real me with internet me. Um, and you don't have to do that either. <laughs> so make a channel, make a Twitter account, make a Tumblr account, put your ideas out there. Um, I also recently saw a really great post on Tumblr about how when it comes to radical discussion, radical feminist discussion on Tumblr, often most of the dialogue is happening when anonymous users send an anonymous message to a established radical feminist account asking, what are your thoughts on this? Or how do you feel about that? Or this is what I think about this topic. What do you think? And then the user who has an established blog will type a paragraphs long, brilliant reply full of great radical feminist or gender critical thinking. And that gets reblogged and shared around the platform. And that's great. But what if that anonymous user, instead of sending an anonymous message to an established blog, created their own blog and put their own thoughts and ideas out there to be shared with the platform, right? It, instead of, you know, 25 like big radical feminist blogs making all of the content, if all of those anonymous messages were making their own content, there would be so much more exposure. Um, which is not to say that you shouldn't you know, use anonymous um, messaging on Tumblr to kind of establish your thinking. Because uh, if you watch my 10 years of being a radical feminist video from last year, you would see that I came to radical feminist, radical feminism um, by putting my feelers out anonymously to an established radical feminist blog. I think that's fine. But when you have an actual idea to share Make the blog, make the Twitter account, make the YouTube channel, make the video. Um, I think it's important that there are more people out there who are making content uh, to share with women and girls, um, especially when it's like 
when a person has such a specific idea, because I have received tons of requests like, you should make a video about ABC that discusses XYZ and my thoughts on one, two, three. And it's like, you clearly have an established thought process about this topic. You have points you want to make. I might not hit all of the thoughts and ideas that you have in this message. I might think about it differently. So if you have these thoughts, these ideas, and you have thought them through, make the content. I'll even share it for you. Like I'll share it on my platforms and say, hey, check this out. Um, I really encourage women and girls to make their own channel, make their Twitter account, make their Tumblr account, put your ideas out there in the world. Because the more of us that are speaking, the, the you know, that's only going to serve us all. Um, we need more people to speak up. You don't have to put your name on it. You don't have to put your face on it. It's fine. But you can still make the account, make the blog, and post the uh, thoughts. Please do. We need more people, more women, more girls speaking out. Please do it.